The response to my video about deploying MSI as line of business apps got a lot of people telling me that you shouldn't use the line of business app type. And if you need to deploy an MSI, you should wrap that MSI in a Win32 app and produce it as a Win Intune Win file. And yep, I agree. So let's take a quick look at what we mean. So we'll start out at the Endpoint Manager Admin Center, head to Apps, down to Windows. We'll choose Add. And in the Select App Type menu, we're going to scroll all the way down to Windows App Win32. Here you can see that we have some information about what a Win32 app is. And we can add a custom in-house Win32 based app and upload the app installation files as an Intune Win format. There's not a lot of information about what an Intune Win format is, except this helpful link that we can click. So if we choose learn more, we get to go to this website, which explains to us what Intune Win Format is all about and all about Win32 app management. When we scroll down this page, you can see we've got information about the Win32 app prep tool. And we can click the link which says prepare Win32 app content for upload. Sounds good. Next, we get to see that there's a link for the Win32 content prep tool. We can click that. And that takes us to another website where we can find the actual intunewinapputil.exe. If we click on this, we can then find the download button on the bottom right, click that, and finally, we have access to the Intune Win App Prep tool. Now that took a little while, but never mind, we've got the tool now. Let's put it in the right place in our hard drive so we can actually use it. I'm gonna grab this, copy it, and put it in somewhere like my demo folder on the local disk. Call the folder Intune WinApp Util. And you can see I've downloaded the Zoom installer full.msi. What I want to do is copy that to my demo folder. And I'm actually going to create a folder called Zoom within this Intune WinApp Util folder. There it is. I'm going to put the content that I want to package right here. Now all we need to do is just run the Intune WinApp Util as administrator and you can see we're asked to specify a source folder. Now this is what you should not do. Definitely do not do the thing I'm about to do because it's wrong. But I want to show you what happens when you do do the wrong thing. So we're going to tap in the downloads folder because that's where, my, that's where I downloaded the Zoom app to. And so I could just use that because that's where the file is. Let's just package up that file. So we tap in C, users, Dean, downloads as the source folder. We tap in the Zoom MSI as the setup file. And then we're asked what we want the output folder to be. So we tap in the output folder that we'd like. It says it doesn't exist, but that's fine. And it goes ahead and starts packaging it up. This will take just a few seconds to complete. And it's all done. There it is, demo output folder right there. If we just double click on that, you can see we've got the Intune Win file, perfect. But look how big that is, it's 296 megabytes. And if we take a look at the Zoom file itself, it's only 95 meg, so we've grown it by an extra 200 meg, which is not good. But there's a reason for that, and you've probably guessed it, the downloads folder itself has 300 meg of content in it, and that's the thing that was packaged up. It took all of the contents of the downloads folder packaged it up and put it in a file called Intune Win. That's obviously not what we want. So what we need to do instead is this. Back to the Intune Win app util, right click and run as administrator, we're asked for the source folder, tap in the source folder for where we've put that Zoom file, but it's only the Zoom file we want and any dependencies that we have as well, but make sure it's just the content that you want to package up and nothing more. Then we tap in the name of the setup file, and the location of where we want it to go. It says the folder doesn't exist, which is fine. Just press Y to create it. And we are going to specify a catalog file in this case. Give it a few seconds to package up. Clearly much faster this time because it's doing a third of the work. And then we have zoom output as the folder and we have the Intune Wind file, which is a nice 93 megabytes in size. Okay, so we're good to go. It's very simply a case of taking this file and taking it over to Intune. So let's grab this, choose select, choose select app package file, find the file in the directory, 
Make effort to get the right one. There it is. And you can see it's 92 megabytes in size. Just click next, and it's got all the metadata about this device, this this application, apart from the publisher, which we've just tapped in there. It's got the app version already, and it, it's possible to edit the description as well. It's it's in Markdown, so we can just click Edit Description, and then we get the opportunity to add a space right there, and then just choose OK. Just scroll down. And we can choose next. And it already knows how to install this. It's got the MSI exec command we need right there for the install and the uninstall already pre filled for us because it's an MSI and Windows and Microsoft know how to manage MSI, so that's already in there for us. It's going to install as system rather than user. And those are the return codes. Just choose next. We get to choose the system architecture that we need. This must be filled in, so we choose 64 bit and the minimum OS of 1809, for example, move on. The detection rules, we can choose manually configure the detection rules. And it, it's not difficult to do the next step because we choose MSI and it knows the MSI product code that it's going to look for. So we can choose OK at this point. Then choose Next. There are no dependencies for this particular application, so we can just choose Next. No supersedence in this case either. These are the additional things you get with Win32 apps. And then we just deploy it. We would choose the devices that we want it to go to, choose next, and we're all done. That application will go to any of the devices that I've assigned it to, in this case none. But when I do assign it, then it will download and install absolutely fine. With much more logging and much more information than the MSI would have done for us. So I get the point. Don't use the MSI line of business app. Use the Win32 app prep tool. See you next time.